Okay, so on my second channel, I recommended not to buy Tekken 8. They have solved most of the problems that uh, were that existed during launch. There's still a few problems, but uh, I mean, probably they'll go away after after some time. But there still is a connection issue right now. So if you're playing on a keyboard and uh, if you if you uh, if you have any connection issues, that's not really your fault. There is a problem still in Tekken that you randomly disconnect, and that that, that is just not me. M many people are reporting that. Okay, so for keyboard, you still have the problem where if you go to uh, the button, mm, what was it? Yeah, the controller setup. Oh no, sorry, it was button mapping. If you go to button mapping, you'll actually see that in order to set keyboard one, you have to kind of. Uh, kind of basically go ahead and set keyboard values two to something on your uh like one two three four five six seven eight keys so that you'll be able to select keys on on keyboard settings one as uh the problem with Tekken 8 right now is is that if you let's say you've assigned the K key to some uh, to something in keyboard settings 2 if you try to overwrite that Tekken 8 is not going to let you do that so the thing is that if you want to button map keyboard settings 1 you have to make sure that keyboard settings 2 is not using that key this was also a problem in Tekken 7 and they haven't addressed it there was no there's no like swap keys system in 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 Tekken 8 if if I had the resources and if I was given time, let's say, and let's pretend that I was uh, working on Tekken 8, what we would do is we would basically have a system where we could uh, swap keys. So the keyboard settings two keys would become the keyboard settings one key if the if the player after the warning pop-up says that I want that. So for graphics settings, first of all, I have a GTX 3060, the 12 gigabyte version. I'm running this in a windowed mode, I do not know why this became like that. It should be... Uh, where is my... yeah, it should be that. Okay, so what I do is I put this on windowed. Okay, and then I do this. So this is this is how I'm playing playing Tekken, uh, Tekken 8 the, uh, right now. I've got vertical shading off, okay. Um, I do not know what variable rate shading is, I do not know about that. But now the upscaling, I'm thinking about setting it to DLS, DL, DLSS Ultra Performance. There's a reason for that, actually. I think that this is this is fine. As um, yeah, okay. So this is basically uh, what I have right now, and everything is set to medium. And uh, I, I'm not really a big fan of graphics, so yeah. Okay, so my keyboard review this game feels a bit better than Tekken 7 especially the especially like because I'm a high rank player I uh, in my demo review I also stated that uh, basically uh, that basically uh, the electrics were a little bit easier to be uh, easier to do and actually the inputs in Tekken 8 are slightly easier I'm not sure why that is but what I can tell you is that keyboard uh, the keyboard is slightly easier in Tekken in Tekken uh, 8 but the keyboard inputs also seem to be a little bit slow for some reason it's uh, the game overall feels a little bit slower. I do not know why why th that is the case, but the uh, but the response is not as fast as it was in Tekken Seven. When you press the key, it takes a while for 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 the character to actually do something. Like it's not immediate. So you can see that I immediately did the skyrocket without any problem. Like it's not even like the buffer this time for skyrocket is a lot. So it's not that difficult to do do the skyrocket anymore. And if I just um, go to standing, you'll see it's so easy to do the skyrocket. That was a that was a normal skyrocket, by the way. Oops, sorry. So even a normal skyrocket is super easy to do. Yeah. 
So it's like uh, the the sidestepping is so easy in this game. It's like super easy. Okay, one other thing that you might notice is without vertical sync, the inputs are a little bit easier. Like the Korean backdash is so easy and the shark step is also very easy. Like it's so easy, the shark step. And it's it's amazing how how much of a difference this this game has made basically. And for some reason the shark step is not working when I'm very close to the to the player. I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, there's something wrong with my D key. Anyway, so overall, the inputs are a bit better, but the game feels a little bit slower. I'm not sure why that is, but it feels a little bit slower. But by getting getting the getting the just frame skyrocket is so easy in this game. Like. Like it's so easy, it's so easy, but the 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 inputs have to be very precise this time, preciser than preciser than the other game because this is the same shark step uh, shark step inputs that I use in my in Tekken 7 and it's not really working in Tekken 8 as far as I can tell. Now it's working. I have to delay the inputs a bit. So because vertical sync is off, probably I have to delay the inputs. So I'll yeah, I have to delay the inputs. That was the mistake that I was making. So you can see that. The inputs have to be delayed a bit, otherwise the otherwise the character just starts sidestepping. So that's the shark step for me. Yeah, and this is basically the wave dash or the shark step. But the inputs have to be slightly delayed. So you can see even the Korean bank dash, I cannot do it as fast as I could in Tekken 7. And overall, the sidestepping is so easy in this game. Jumping is difficult. Jumping, by the way, jumping is super difficult in this game. Jumping is not easy. Crouching is easy. The back, the Korean backdash. Even if you don't have the Korean backdash, you can do these backdashes, but they don't really work. Most of these, most of these, most of the characters are just going to lock you down. I've seen this. Most of the characters in this game lock you down if you try to if you try to sidestep like that. Other than that, I will also be making a proper guide on how wrong and how I believe you uh, believe a person should be playing him. But right now, this is not that kind. Of that kind of uh, review but I will be making 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 uh, making this making a proper guide for how wrong which is going to be the ultimate guide on how I believe this game should be played but for that I need a little bit of experience with, with online play to see what players are doing and after that I'll hopefully be able to help you better um, yeah so overall like it's so so easy to get inputs in this game and running running like the running inputs are also very easy so let me show you one two three and that's it like the inputs for running are so easy from here one two three and that's it one two three and that's it all right one two three okay so another thing is that now in this game you this right it's so easy to start running so let me show you this like that so just press press and hold press forward once and then hold it and you get and you get running like that however this the doesn't produce the while running moves for while running moves you have to do it three times so one two three and that's it so overall, this game on keyboard is good. It has other issues like I've got vertical sync off. I do not know whether you can see it, but it's suffering very badly. Uh, it, it tries suffering so badly that it's still 60 FPS. I know that the 60 FPS as I measured it with SMS Afterburner, this game is running at 60 FPS, but this is suffering. This is suffering a bit, but that's really something that you'll have to deal with. Other than that, the keyboard is working fine. The inputs are again, very easy to do. Like, um, I'm sparing the skyrocket miserably right now. There you go. So it's a very easy. The, the, the frame of opportunity for this just frame skyrocket has been increased significantly. Like, it's it's amazing how 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 much of a frame you have. Like, how much of a how much of a buffer you have for the just frame skyrocket is amazing. 
Uh, if you have vertical sync on, this becomes a little bit easier, but then the entire games feel slower because the input, there's a lot of input lag when you've got vertical sync on. So I don't, I don't recommend it, at least for me. For me, sorry, with your setup might be different. For me, what I've experienced is might be a me problem that vertical sync makes this game slower. Anyway, guys, take care. Thank you for watching the video.